Bye. So in this video, I want to talk to you about another pro feature that we recently added to SuperPower Chat GPT. Um, before we start, um, to use SuperPower Chat GPT, you need to go to Google, search for SuperPower Chat GPT, click on the first link. It will send you to this page. Here you'll see a button that says Add to Chrome. Click on Add to Chrome, and then it will add the extension to your browser. Once you add the extension to your browser, you can go back to ChatGPT, refresh the page, and you'll see um, the, all the features of ChatGPT being loaded uh, on the uh, page. Now, in this video, I want to talk about um, the advanced voice mode or voice mode in general. As you know, there is a button in ChatGPT right here. It says use voice mode. If you click on it, you can start talking to ChatGPT. Um, the problem with uh, the voice mode is that I'm going to start it right now. Um, as you can see, the voice mode is like a full screen mode and it will take the full page. But sometimes you want to see the conversation that you're having with ChatGPT at the same time that you're talking to ChatGPT. Until now, you couldn't do this, but we added this new pro features that basically add this new icon at the bottom. As you can see, there is a like a minimize icon right next to the close or the end icon. Uh, if you click on this icon, it simply just like make the voice mode smaller and put it on the side. I'm gonna stop talking. Now, I don't know if you can hear this or not, but ChatGPT is responding back to me and like talking. And as you can see, like it already started um, printing the conversations uh, in the conversation, it created a new conversation and I can see still see the voice mode on the right side. I'm gonna stop talking again. You see that like, yeah, it, it, it just printed the response in the, in the conversation. I'm gonna stop again. So I don't know if you could hear that or not. I probably you couldn't hear, but ChatGPT was responding to me in, in the voice mode. I could hear it in my headphone, but at the same time, I can see that uh, that response printed on the page. So sometimes you just want to like look at the chat previous responses and like at the same time that you're talking to the to ChatGPT, you also want to like kind of you forget what you were talking about and you just want to like scroll up the conversation and just like see what was the previous response or something like that so this is what um what you can do with um with with the minimized voice mode also keep in mind like you can if you want to you can just go inside here and you can um type something and submit like just say hi for example and it will send that chat to chat gpt but the voice mode um as far as the voice mode um uh, concern the last response from the voice mode is the one up here so if even if you type something here and like continue the conversation by typing when you continue the conversation in the voice mode it's going to continue from up here so i'm going to stop talking again and you can you're going to see that it will create the response as like a second response to this one and create like a multi-thread conversation So ChatGPT just uh, responded to me in the voice mode. I could hear it in my headphone. We, I probably couldn't hear it again. But as you can see, instead of continuing the conversation from where I said hi, it basically continued the conversation from its own last response. And it just created a multi-thread conversation. So my last, the one that I typed is right here. But the one from the voice mode, the response from the voice mode is also 
in the same level. So it basically continues its own response from the voice mode. That's, I guess, maybe on one hand, it, you, you could say it's like a um, limitation of like the side-by-side -side voice mode. But on the other hand, you can also say that like, you can continue having a uh, conversation with ChatGPT and see it in one thread. And at the same time, like you can just sometimes try submitting something by typing. And then at the same time, if you don't like the response, you can continue the conversation with ChatGPT. So this is basically the minimized voice mode. You can click on this button again if you want to, and it will make it maximized. You can just minimize it. Another thing, you, know, you can just move this around the page, put it wherever you want. So it's also cool. You can also do all the other stuff, like all these buttons also still work. You can like turn off the microphone or you can just like change the voice mode or like things like that. Um, but yeah, this is this is the minimize voice mode feature. Uh, it's I find it super useful to be able to have the voice mode and at the same time see the um, chat GPT response at the same time. So I hope this helps you too. Um, let me know if you have any question. Thank you.